Is it live now? Okay, now it's live. There we go. There we go. I am back. I almost didn't find my charger and I almost died of coughing, but now I'm here. I like this. I'm here. Um, so today we're going to do like, we're going to do something that's never been uh, heard of before. Actually, maybe we've probably done something like this. Probably with James back in the day. But uh, we're going to do a Daisy stream today and then we're going to do a Daisy stream tomorrow. But today we're going to be looking more into like the perfect prince stuff. Uh, and then tomorrow is like the I'm just going to do Thursdays for like the weekly thing that Daisy did. But we need to learn more about her uh, before tomorrow and then Heather's Friday. Um, I probably should have done this yesterday and put the Gal sisters today. So there'd be a little bit of a mix, like a little bit of a buffer, but what whatever we get the <laughs> uh get the fuck out who is um i'm guessing she kept her shirt on though i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> no singing um but yeah hello everybody i hope you're all doing well i don't know who else is here Sky salty um uh, my baby we got jill jill how you doing uh, Bombay Beach, how you doing as well? Bombay Beach and Jill are like our our people. They they guide us on this journey. And then people like um, Teresa Bob or Terry Bob or fucking Tiffany Bob get angry. Um, it's like, you don't do your research. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm here. We're learning together. That's what this is. <laughs> so I have like that playlist up um, over here, over there, over here um what's going on debbie how you doing today mr ryan i don't i think i i say but i don't know if it's out you as well i hope you're doing well too happy thurs wednesday it's wednesday wednesday um so this is like them going into did i show you let me okay i forgot to pull the live chat up oh let me get that up um i run a poll because i don't remember if i showed you guys their wedding so if i didn't uh i'll run a poll and you guys can let me know uh we'll start off with this one though and then uh if i didn't show you guys the wedding then i will show you that after this people love asking about the superhero origin story and Orly. they'll ask it like so where are you from so tell me your story and i like to be limitless and hold my superhero origin story really, really lightly. So I've never really heard the perfect prince's superhero origin story because we're what? so similar that he never really asks me either. And um, when I met the perfect prince, he was very domesticated. And um, what happened was he picked me up at my yoga studio and we went to Earth Cafe and then we hung out every single night after that mm -hmm. and except he went to mammoth um with his brother and nephew for five days but besides that we were together every day so oh, i had my go. spot um mm -hmm. over um at the shelter by the beach mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i was going to lose my bed because i was never there i was always at the prince so um the prince and i so she had a shelter, a place at the shelter before she met Prince, and then she lost her place at the shelter because she was always with them. You gave up your place at the shelter for Prince? Oh, no. I don't know how was glitchy that was while uh, live chat was um, loading. But hello. Uh, i seen someone else. Kat Johnson, how you doing? Also, Serena, I hope you're doing well. Um, Timmy Two Shoes, great to see you. Uh, but that's crazy that she gave up shelter for this dude because it didn't end very well. And she's sleeping like oh, well, at the goddess temple, and I guess outside. Uh, at least that's what I thought. As of late, I experienced like a recognition, and I believe that primates are wired to be like very poly and have many lovers, and to not do the thing where you break up. So um, when I met the prince. It was sort of like a recognition because I do believe that there are kind of like these scarlet macaws um, where they're where they're humans who are not so much like the primates where they have many partners, but they'll recognize like a bonded their bonded pair and then they'll bond with them and they want to do everything together. And there's all different like we all know that gender and 
the way that we love is is personal to us so the way the the print the way the prince and i loved was very different i guess is what i'm trying to say i like i should calling him the prince i thought it was, it was just prince perfect prince it was wired to monogamy i was wired to be open and non-attached i didn't even identify as poly because i don't have any labels but when I met him, like I started to not only neglect my place of residence, but I neglected all my kings and none of my kings were getting any attention from me. And um, because I didn't want to blindside break up with them or ghost them, you know, I had to, and then the prince at that time also was like, I want to be monogamous with me. So I sort of like changed my love style with the prince and like I said I don't know that much about him but I recently married him this is before or after they got married I don't know much about him but this is I've just put my all my eggs in this basket with my many kings though as well it's just uh how did she not know this was gonna end badly I mean like she must be with she must have been with other guys before this right um I think she'd know the signs found out we met each other March 9th I recently found out that this hunk right here has a famous dad just like me. And I don't know about his grandfather, but he's had like a very similar upbringing. And um, his parents divorced when he was the same age as me, when my parents divorced. And I guess I'll say the rest because I don't know that much about him. But um I was going to speak for, I don't know much about him, though. Do we get to hear from him? I hope we get to hear from him. Perfect Prince. It's, uh, I'm sure it's going to be very enlightening. But he and I have sort of, like, melded our lives together. And I would watch this domesticated prince wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning, go to his job. And he was transforming people from having one body type to having an incredible body type, which was much more wonderful than the one previous. And he would help them with nutrition and like global body transformation. So, so he, was a, he was a personal trainer. <laughs> this is just, you're describing a personal trainer. She was a dominatrix for a moment, which is why she learned how to walk on people safely. When she's walking on the, the people, it doesn't look safe. She's like surfing and stuff. I'd imagine that would hurt. He was working this job six hours a day, had an, yeah, like crazy hours. And um, I would watch him leave. And I oh, yeah, I forgot she calls it the he hive. That's, <laughs> that's a, it's clever. I like it. would think, oh, um, he's no slave. Like, this isn't him. He's going somewhere he doesn't want to go. And I'm wild, and I have these realizations that we're meant to be in fellowship, we're meant to be together, we're meant to have interdependence, trust, and relationships, not market economy. We don't need trinkets and stuff when we have each other. We just, we play, we don't need things. And the prince went through, like, if you look up twin flames, like, we resonate so much with that. I kind of already went through my dark night of the soul, which is where, like, all of the uh, old. Yeah, I forgot there was an old lady that she walked on. I was thinking of the wedding. She walked across a whole bunch of people at the wedding. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see what the... Whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, what? Why don't I have those two open? I did not show you guys the wedding. Okay, I'll show you guys the wedding after. She walks across a sea of people. It's very crazy. Oh, I should close this. I have like kitchen nightmares open up and I went another window. That's probably why we're running slow stuff falls away so he lost his job like um and we started to work together immediately this person came into my world our world and wanted to make a website for us right when he lost his job so we have healingartsdojo.org we did not pay for that website we call our friend the superhero um and his name is anthony but we call him superhero and D I don't think you're supposed to say his name. We call him Anthony. He was like saying, saying hacker Anthony's name, ski mask Anthony. He just because he likes us and wants to be interdependent with us, which is what is supposed to happen in the world. You're not supposed to pay. 
he makes our website. He does everything for us. We call him. We need an update. We need to know how to do stuff. Like he's on it. And in in turn, like we have a friendship together. Now they're training together. Like this was not planned ahead of time. They just started working out together, and he's already doing transformations. So, um, our website happened, and he like. Someone in the comments made me think for a second that this Daisy was the same Daisy that was in Rock of Love, which I didn't even know was a thing until like I read this comment and then I looked into that and I was watching episodes and I was like, there's no way this is Daisy. And then they had like a spin-off episode, but no, I found that lady in real life now and I was like, okay, this is not the same fucking person. But I learned what Love of Rock was and I, I don't know how the fuck that show got pitched. I mean... I get, I give me, it's like, like the premise is fine. You, you, I can see Netflix doing something like that with nobodies, but like, why Brett Michaels? Like, out of all the people in the world, they picked Brett Michaels. It's weird to me. Like, took this leap of faith with me. And I basically was like, don't get another job. Be wild with me. And at the time, he knew what I was doing here on the beach, and he knew that I wanted to, like, have our own water, get our own food, plant our own weeds so that we share with everyone. And I asked this prince, I said, Prince, will you, I told him about this couple in Brazil where this like woman from somewhere else went with her husband from Brazil back to their country from Europe where she was from. And he discovered his whole town was all the rainforest was cut down and she looked at him, she goes, baby, let's plant it all back. And they did millions and millions of trees. So I asked him, I told him the story. I said, baby, like, well, let's rainforest this beach. Like, who like Johnny Appleseed. Why is this my thing dying? I think I said this before. Maybe I might download the other ones. Who cares if it wasn't a rainforest before? Let's Costa Rica this beach. Will you do it with me? And he said, yes. So he agreed to be a wild human. I mean, I thought we were going to learn a bit more about Prince, but it seems like Prince is just like a, a not a placeholder he's like a prop kind of almost um he's just kind of there he's there for look he's not saying anything i don't know if he ever says anything he uh well we're only a fucking quarter of the way through <laughs> let's see let's see um i didn't know but turns out he's like a trust fund kid so he was like paying I mean, this is pretty much like Heather and Xavier. Like, Dad, Xavier doesn't talk either. In his very expensive rent every month. And I'm like, how's he paying all these bills? And how does he have all this money? Um, he'll tell you his story about that, though. But basically, um, he took this leap of faith with me. And I'll let him tell you more because mm -hmm. he talks about my story. But I'm sure. curious. Yes, let's let Prince talk. She already tried to hand it off to him three times and he just didn't roll with it i don't know she just keeps talking though about you? i'm curious about your superhero origin story so born in connecticut born in connecticut to new haven on yale new haven hospital and then i went to private schools most of my life like camden hall and then i went to private colleges like northeastern university in boston where i didn't really like school but i had to go to school because that's what my parents wanted me to do and so to get a degree so I went there, I was, went to school for health sciences and undergrad for psych, uh, psychology. And Psychic psychology, yeah. And um, Boston was was a good time in my life. A lot of ups and downs with relationships, which we'll talk about, right? Because you can talk about the fearful avoidant, all that stuff that I've learned, but later on, right? So anyways, um, so Boston to here, and uh, that was 2012. And then I didn't really work for a while when I came out here for about two or three years and then i helped my dad with his business for a while and then um i his foot is just constantly itchy i, I didn't see him itching his foot the whole time he was not talking but i guess talking makes his foot itchy I started a cannabis business with my trust fund um up in why is it a trust fund and not just a trust fund is it a fake trust fund is it like did you get the money smuggling drugs or something instead uh kern county in uh California city and that did not go well um my partner and I just didn't manifest so that was all of my all of my money went into that and um basically that was the end of my my trust so that was like zero dissolved like no money 
So I worked for this place called Altered Performance doing body transformation with my degree and my background in history with training in health sciences and personal training and all the stuff that I've done from school. And um, so, yeah, so I started working all through, well, let's back up a little bit. So I had about a, I had a nine year relationship before that with this girl, um, this woman, and I lived with her in my current apartment that I am in with, with Wa. And that relationship lasted basically the entire time I was out here. We got engaged, um, didn't work out. Um, she had a little boy. And so I kind of raised a little boy from the time he was like five to 12. So I have experience with children. And also, where is he looking? It's very odd that like there's a camera in front of him. So I'm assuming there's a man behind the camera. Maybe that's just a stupid assumption on my part, but he's looking like off to like, or assume there's no people here, no people there. He has his girlfriend behind him. <laughs> like, it's just how he talks to her all the time. I'm going to look away from you. I'm going to look away from everyone. I don't even know what he's saying is true then. Why can't he make eye contact? I don't know. Maybe it's just high. He's, his foot is itchy in his eye, guys. And, you know, wanting to have that and seeing if that's something potentially they want to do in the future with somebody, and it is, so... Um, so origin story, how we came here now. Let's let's like tell them who your dad is. Let's tighten it up. Um, or about, my, or my about dad, it. my dad is a is a dermatologist. His name is Dr. Peritone and he has products in like Sephora's and Nordstrom's and all over the country and he was really big back in like 20, 2009, 10, 11, 12. and then he sold half his company and then um, this like It's like you remember when Xavier was just looking out the window? That's like very stoic. That's, I guess that's just how he talks. He just likes to look off into the distance as he's visualizing um, these times in his life, maybe. And he's uh, picturing it like a movie. Like it's all just like manifesting in front of him. I don't know. I, otherwise, he's just a crazy person. It's like large Netherlands conglomerate brought, bought him out and he has no nothing to do with it anymore. But yeah, he, he basically is like the, the founder and inventor of all the Pericone technology and products. But, um, so how did we get to here? So, oh, okay. His trust fund was dissolved. Is that why he did the, my trust fund? Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't think they would have been living in, uh, the Goddess Temple Crack Shack if they had any money. That place is small. So small. I got out of, got out of a relationship with, with, uh, this woman that I was with for nine years. And then I had about a year where I wasn't dating and I was very heavy. I was about 214 pounds after the pandemic and decided to get in really great shape again using my skill with body transformation. And in five months, I dropped like 40 pounds and got in really great shape and um, was doing really well and applied for this job at Ultimate Performance. And I met this, I met the, um, which the Playa, the Playa we goddess. Call her, we call her the Disney princess. The Disney princess. I met the She's like a, a fucking Disney singing princess that's just homeless and skateboards and smokes weed. Is she, when was, uh, I think she said she was California sober, but I heard that that was a lie. I was just curious, like, is she actually California sober now? The Disney princess. And, um, she and I met in, uh, right around this time, actually, in about two weeks, I think we met. We met in, like, late July. And, um, we were together for around seven months. And, um... I've been in like a very long relationships, like I said, nine years, much more committed. I don't like Prince Shrek. He is uh ever since the last stream I did. Uh if you watch the I don't know what I called it, Discovering Daisy, he was mean. He was a crazy mean person. So like here he's chill, but he's kinda yeah, what do you a goon a goon buffoon? I'd classify him as a goon buffoon. I've had a lot of um trauma in my life, you know, with my parents being divorced and just a lot of stuff happen uh to me with uh abuse i don't want to talk about but stuff that's just been really traumatizing and for some reason um me and this this woman had this relationship but it affected me because what happened was is i got blindsided i got basically just you know called over the phone one day after after work and just told that she wanted to go separate ways with me and Hell yeah. reasons, but it felt just so uh it was how you doing cooking with silence actually just like the most devastating the most painful thing i think i've ever experienced in my entire life actually i don't know it just it knocked me out for a month and i didn't really like eat or sleep or function and i kind of started drinking way 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 too much and that's why i lost my job 
and then from there, um, kind of got my feet back on, got my feet together enough where. Got on your feet? Got my feet together. <laughs> yeah, I put them together and now I just hop around everywhere. I wanted to at least get out and maybe go on a few dates just to see what it was like because I was just in a bad place. I wanted to show the women my feet put together. They're <laughs> it's a lot better than them being broken apart. So I met her and um, we did a lot of healing together during the first month of my relationship with her, processing what happened with my Disney princess. Cause that was just brutal. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't explain into words how it was the most, it, it was like, it was the breaking moment for me. It definitely, I think I had a sort of a, an awakening slash breakdown at the same time, but it forced me to look at myself and look at like my attachment style and how I love. And I mean, I had to do a lot of inner work because I just couldn't understand what happened between me and this woman. And it was so traumatizing to me that it forced me to, to look somewhere for answers and I couldn't get them from her. So I had to look in, inwards. And she and I met, and we just started just this dojo. And um, uh, what happened was, so after getting blindsided, we broken up with, I got fired. And after that, we met, which is a blessing, right? And then, um, then you got sober. And then I got sober, and um, learned about attachment theory. I did, and then we had another issue happen. Though we, because of the lack of income, we decided to use Rover as a source of income for a while, and. <laughs> What is Rover? I've never heard of Rover. Our neighbors did not take too fondly of that. So um, on top of that, uh, my apartment wants me to now move out. So it's kind of like a huge, insane. We're moving into Dog sitting? There were dogs? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a great. Oh, that's a great. Why? I like dogs. I do be a dog sitter. They're like teenagers. Yeah, less, so than, less than 11 days we have to be out. So basically, you know, didn't get evicted, but was told I need to leave or will be evicted. So it's a lot, you know, you're losing someone that, you know, I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with and I love deeply, you know, just leave and then, um, you know, losing a job that I loved. She is she's just like a homeless person. She's like Heather Gillespie, but uh, more hippie. She's like a hippie Heather Gillespie. That's like the the base, basically the basic. Oh my god, I can't speak. I don't know what words I'm trying to say. That's the gist, the shortest gist form of it. Time didn't really love it, but it felt comfortable and safe. Um, but now I see it differently, obviously. And then my home, I was there for seven years, so it was a lot. It was a huge up, you know, like I said, my dark night of the soul. But the same. Well, I don't know. Uh, Prince is kind of the way he speaks. It is boring. So I think I think he's just talking about him and his friends. Like he, I don't think he met Daisy yet at this point, unless like I could be too bored and lost. But um, I hopefully Daisy wasn't dog sitting, while punching dogs. What a guy! What a gal! Same time, it forced me to look inwards and you know decisions I made and why I dated you know the people that I did and decisions and how it all came together. So you know, talking to my Disney princess. Um, if you ever see this, you're an amazing human being and I totally understand and you did what you did because you had to and I get it, right? Because, right? Okay. So Daisy was dog sitting? That's, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Why wouldn't she? We always, of course, we always I understand. Best intentions. Absolutely. And I've only spoken kindly and lovingly from me, right? Mm-hmm. Which is part of um, learning and growing um, with a healthy mindset mm -hmm. so that we don't build triangles and enemy images and yeah. look at our past partners as our teachers. But it definitely knocked me out, and now I'm just been kind of like licking my wounds with her and um, getting just dog sitting. That's what you've been doing, just homeless and dog sitting. What an existence. What an existence, guys. We're together trying to find like, a new place to live, a new source of income, a new life with her. Um, and we've been able to implement a lot yeah. of stuff we're learning together. Mm -hmm. So when I met him, he was researching attachment theory with yeah. this woman. What is attachment? I guess I can look it up. I'll We'll find out what attachment theory is, just like I found out what Rover was. Heise Gibson. Heise Gibson. My teacher, Sarah Payton and Yvette Rasmus, all teach... Sarah Payton, the politician? Am I forgetting who Sarah Payton is? Attachment theory. 
So I was already learning about the same thing and what he was able to identify is the dismissive avoidant personality like pulls their energy a lot. Uh, I thought it was going to be like some fucking quantum physics shit. It's like about people. And then there's this anxious preoccupied that gives their energy a lot. And then there's the one in the middle, which is the fearful avoidant, which is both disorganized. So they'll pull their energy and then they'll give up their energy a lot and get really anxious. So he and I are both like, we're Fearful literally twin flames. Yeah. We're the same. He lets me be as wild as I want. Let's me be um, free. Experiences the same type of like shame and guilt and traumatizing and patriarchal conditioning from his families that I did that we're both <laughs> detoxing. And what's cool is because we're both like he has a background in he was a kundalini instructor um so he's a yogi too and he's all about personal development so like we're able to literally do violence and anger and force well i i just thought it was gonna be like like you know some science stuff like um quantum physics shit like he was sheldon or something he's just like a stoned young shell well not a young sheldon from the big big theory um and so i was just disappointed that's all together and wrestle like when we're angry and it's it's amazing like our fights went from like like we're literally having like super learning together because we're my mom is psychic well my mom thinks she's psychic like debriefing bringing empathy buddies in our trauma healing circles are about meeting empathy buddies and not paying professionals, but having community members come in. Uh, we okay, yeah, I am. I am thinking Sarah Palin. Thank you. Sarah Payton is where Daisy learned neuroscience so she can name brain parts during her speeches. So she was kicked out for live streaming the class. Oh, my God. I mean, see, that's pretty fancy. She was learning neuroscience for free. She was auditing, auditing classes. We can't call our therapist at three in the morning when he wakes up and his brain is perseverating and he's going through all this stuff or whatever's happening. And for me, being with my partner, Jeffrey, who like we're both working on ourselves, but some of the ways I'm able to be there for him, like others weren't there. I think I'm codependent, though. I doesn't that doesn't matter. <laughs> My mom's living her life. She's fine. Or for me, so it ripples the healing where I'm being there for him. Then I get to heal myself when people weren't there for me. And and um, <laughs> so we're kind of like we're taking our relationship also on YouTube, and then we took our relationship to our trauma <laughs> healing circles, and we literally like do our work in front of people so people can see, so people can watch watch us get creative and conscious and use emotional alchemy to make emotions into more life enriching energies that well this ended terribly this ended fucking dark. so i guess like whoever was watching this they could know fucking not to do whatever they did you know oh mama mia actions are more life enriching um and we've been each other's rocks like mm -hmm. we groom, groom each other um I, when I brush my hair, do my grooming or do my skin, I do his and he does all the cooking and I'm cleaning up after him and we like kind of complete each other, but not in a codependent way, in an interdependent way, um, which is a constant language of just very, very simple two things. I feel I want, I feel I want. So um, Jeffrey has brought me a very very wild human to be like a little more domesticated but you're gonna see more of this cat like he's gonna be coming and staying at the beach with me we're gonna have the goddess temple um he's already like towing me around topless and we're talking about getting like lots of women where he can probably pull like five or six of us like six to seven hundred pounds of goddesses he could <laughs> why are we measuring them in weight just like goddess meat what the fuck is this what is this speed this is what they were planning he's like hell yeah we're gonna fucking have a, a woman cult he's gonna have a harem he's gonna have a she hive He'll, she'll have a he hive um what was i coming down to look at here i'm just like what the fuck 
and uh, that could be his cardio. An hour a day, he pulls topless women around. So he's all about the crusades and the love crusades and being wild too. But oh, he's just supposed to be pulling them around. I don't. Uh... I've also like come to meet him part way and then like toned certain things down, and I don't like do speeches and go topless and at like our local grocery store that we go to all the time but i'm allowed to do it at other stores That's right. and like places where i already run away from security guards and skateboard through the store and fist bump them like at whole foods he's okay with me doing it there what was all that about why was he like her <laughs> leg so where are you guys going to be moving to uh, see that's that's 11 the, days yeah that's right no. And to make the interview more interesting, he's a Casanova too. So we allow each other to flirt a lot. And I was conditioned because women swing like very sexual and very like, the only way to describe it is like, fuck yeah. Um, when I think if they are like me, like most strippers were molested. And since I was a toddler, I had to question every touch from my male figures that were bringing me up. This prince here was such a Casanova, like, there's all these stories he he t I know a lot about these stories because he tells you know because my I start grinning ear to ear my <laughs> cheekbones get so high so he keeps telling them story after story and I know they're true because they're always the same of women they're all okay and like abusing this poor prince like telling him to go in the room and pretend to be asleep because they find find out he has this giant he's blessed with this ginormous member why would what why would they tell him to go in the room and pretend to be asleep then because his dick's big that doesn't make any sense to me at all i don't understand also like i don't think i wonder if she looks back on this like because i i don't believe him you know i think he's just he's fucking just as toxic as she is i guess in a relationship sense i mean i don't know actually i mean he i think he's worse tasty <laughs> just off of the last fucking stream so this prince, you know, even from a young age, which is going to be very vague, was conditioned by like some women who were adult women and young boy. So you could call it like sexual abuse in the world, but because like I didn't like it, like my skin would crawl. But this prince here was making grown women come and he liked that. So... I mean, yeah, opioids never fuck with my feet or palms. That's true. They would make my legs itchy because my legs are hairy. But I'd like, yeah, I don't remember like my palms or my feet. Yeah, I think you might just have like athlete's foot for being homeless or whatever. Maybe he's been walking on some people too. I don't know where these people have been. It's California, Venice Beach in California, you know. That's my guess. He and I are both Casanovas and amazing. And when I take him to contact improv and he takes his shirt off, all the women are like, oh, and they just like caress him. So yesterday we went home from contact improv and I was like, I want to go back and watch these women do what they do. And sure enough, like he walked in and three women surrounded him. And so, and it's the Casanova energy. like The Casanova energy. I don't even even told oh, what the fuck Casanova. I don't know what a Casanova like, is. The, like, there's so many hot people on this beach, but to have that charisma and that passion and that like pizzazz and that little twinkle in your eye and twerk in your touch, you know, takes some early childhood conditioning. So he is oh, just a person known for seducing people was an interesting prince indeed he did not reveal that much no today i didn't um so i'm still curious <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm very curious does he know how to walk up people does she teach him he like i think he's heavier than her he's gonna they're gonna fuck someone up have they not like broken someone's bones yet have they not gotten a, like some kind of i guess you can't really sue him what are you gonna sue him for the fucking carts, the, the GoFundMe, the trust fund that don't exist. This is, um, uh, why would you let anyone? <laughs> never let some, never let a homeless person walk on my back.
Well, that was crazy. That's loud too. All right, this is the this is the crazy fucking wedding, guys. I just want to show you. Um, I don't know if we're gonna watch the whole thing, but uh, we'll show you the walking on people thing. I pressed it. I pressed it. It's just it's it's doing its thing. Let's flip one of these things around. Boom, 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 boom. What is? So, I don't know if these are their homeless friends. They look kind of homeless. Um, maybe that's not fair. I mean, like, I just assume they're homeless because, like, the homeless stick together, right? Uh, he doesn't have shoes, but he's like, uh, kind of dressed up. I mean, the more, the most dressed up I think we'll ever see him. And the cops are there. Daisy's happy. The cops are there. Give some flowers. Superheroes! We honor you! Are you guys have problems? Yeah. Alright, let's go to... This crazy sense. So they're like, blah, 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 blah. We gather here today, and then Daisy's like... I want people to lie across this thing for me to walk across them like some kind of fucking god, I guess. This, this reminds me of something like a god would do. <laughs> you know? I she, she, she think she's a goddess, right? Wonderful words. Does this look like it's safe? Like she knows what she's doing? She's like wiggling, wobbling around. She, it's a balance. She's got to like, uh, I don't know. I'm surprised none of these people. Maybe they're all just too nice. They're like, I don't, I don't want Daisy to feel bad. So I'm just going to live with a broken back now. Positive energy and heal you. And that's what she's doing now. Great job. Whoa. If anyone else would like to speak, please do. The mic is open. Feel free to say what you like. Express yourself your positivity. It's something you want to express. If you don't do it now, you can also do it later. Daisy's mom and kid are the ones lying down? Like in the, the this you think is the cult track? I, I mean I think she's tr she's trying to make one. I want to speak that up. Where are they? Hold on, let's see. Daisy Mom was in the background just then. Okay. Uh, this wedding is the best. This is some this is some dope shit. Let me see if I can. Cause this is a little bit delayed. I'm a little behind on chat. I might have like lost it a while ago, actually. I'll just keep it. I'll keep things rolling. I'm sorry. If you don't do it now, you can also do it later. I want to speak, but after this. All right, wonderful. <laughs> we have time for everyone to speak. Yeah, but this is like, you know, they, they both had restraining orders at the time, but they violated them in the name of love. You know, it's like an Adam Sandler movie and the cops were there. They didn't even care. That's how much love triumphed that day.
That's the kind of shit they'd say. I'm sure of it. Oh we could watch that. We'll do like a maybe a, a like family backstory thing on her. So that's pretty much like the wedding. That's what I wanted to show you guys at the wedding. I don't know how much the left is. I don't know what else happens. They go show up the cops. They talk to these people. They're like, ah, I'm married now. Woo! Uh, they dance a bit. Um, what else? I don't know what this is. Is this like their vows? You guys want to see their vows? Oh, I think they're their vows. Maybe. Is it? No. Let's see. It'll only be four minutes of nonsense if it isn't. Oh, oh, we got the presentation of the ring. That's an ice All right. Order the ring is right here. Who's going to present the ring? If you'd like to say something while you present the ring, that'd be something cool, too. Would you like to say something before you present the ring? This is so... <laughs> no, I was going to say official. This is so classy. This is fancy. This is very... Uh... By the book. Gonna hand the mic over. <laughs> Athena Rising. This is your playlist, Athena Rising. Thank you for linking it. Yeah, see right here. Athena Rising. Thank you. Well, I don't know what happened. Thank you. When I met you, my king, we're never ending. <laughs> and I believed that we needed a network of partners to meet all of our needs. You wanted to start a prostitution ring and you're a pimp. Gotcha. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Allegedly. This is me being silly. And I felt sorry for the man. Responsible for needing all of my needs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Until I found my prince! Bodyguard. It's the newest bodyguard. <laughs> yeah! He invited me in. I said I feel sorry for the motherfucker responsible for meeting all my needs. And he said, but I can meet all your needs. I realized that I was neglecting all of my kings. I wasn't hanging out with them. I was spending all my time with this punk. <laughs> so I said I'll have a perfect prince instead of never-ending kings. And I have a twin flame. We are two scarlet macaws. And if my prince is in one tree and I'm not there, it's not for long. Because it is with my perfect prince where I always want to be. Yes! That's how it happened. I mean, that was better. I didn't even hear what his were. His were, I don't know. Perfect. I mean, like, at least we could hear. That's exactly how it happened. Yeah. 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 on the people again all right let's go see <laughs> that was the wedding um we watched these before where's some print stuff perfect prince called the cost we saw that and i was like what repair work with my perfect prince i mean we can just keep flat we can go through this is prince 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 three princes in a row i don't think we'll get through the whole like hour and a half um getting woken up by angry prince it's only 26 minutes i think maybe that'll be good hopefully maybe yes 
Long Bay Beach says yes. All right, that's what I see. Yes, do the repair work one. All right, we'll do that one. That is a long one. Whoa, 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 whoa. She yells at him and walks off. What? And he just like sits there. He just sits there like a a thing, a person. A thing. Let me see. Repair work. There we go. Cause I already pressed it, <laughs> but it'll, it'll come back. Just gotta be patient. You just gotta be patient in life. You know, that's a, it's a virtue. They say patient, patience is a virtue. That's what um, the old people used to tell me when I was a kid. And now I'm an old person. Mamma mia. Is it vertical? Is it? No. She likes angry. Why is music? Why is music? Okay, the way that I want to do repair work is I want us to face each other. Why is... I don't know. It probably isn't like that for you guys. The base of this weirdness is like vibrating my laptop in a weird way but we can't hear her if i turn it down so i don't know can you can you guys hear the <laughs> and hold hands while we talk do you want that too sure. is there any, anything else you want while we do repair work besides holding hands and facing each other sounds good to me. i would not want this music playing while repair work is happening do they hopefully they turn it off it's going to make my hand vibrate into the future hey i kind of want to put tinted posters on while we talk at first is that okay sure. <laughs> so the way that or does that feel good for you so the way that i want to do the repair work is i want us to go through last night by saying i wanted to and each of us are going to say what happened next when we talk about what we did i gotta say i mean there's a lot of like there's the soundtrack in this lore is pretty fire like i could see this being a netflix documentary maybe one day in the future and they could use all the same kind of music um like when fucking hotel california came by while she was talking about how like she's fucking how she ended up homeless and shit it's pretty like there's some good parts there's some good epic parts to this that you don't really get with he heather drives me nuts nowadays um james is a waste waste of a human who belongs in jail and is rotten in jail right now um so yeah no like i'm like this is i'll we'll keep going i don't really have anything else to say i don't know i still have to say that we're not going to talk about what the other person did at all. I'm going to show you how it's done, okay? Last oh, wait. Night, did it work? And this is an example, okay? It's not oh. us. It's just an example. Last night, we're going to say, I feel and I wanted to. Last night, I felt tired and I wanted to listen to the most beautiful meditation. And then... It would be the other person's turn and they might go. A video of her as a, how old as a kid? Like, as, well, I guess it would have to be a public video. Is it, should we look in there as a kid? I don't know, that's a good idea. Maybe. Um, I, you can post links if, how do I do this? I think I just have to make you a mod. I think that's one day, one time in life. Uh, I think that was the workaround. I'm pretty sure here. Do, 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 So don't blow up the channel. I mean, like, I can fix anything you mess up, but I, I, I think I trust Jill. Um, yeah, so you can post the. Oh, what? There's new. Oh, okay. Um, so you should be able to post the link now. Last night, I felt lonely. And 
I wanted snuggles and affection. Okay, something like that. And then I would go, last night, um... Yeah, if you post the link now, it should it should show up, and then I can I can pull it up. Awesome, yes, there it is. Voila, voila. Thank you. I wanted to lie down on the wood, and last night I felt um, crinkled, and I felt like my body wanted my body wanted. Um, relief and hardness so now you Hard. now you go you can say i felt and i want you only talk about you but we're going to go down a timeline of what happened and not once are we going to talk about the stimulus what happened we're only going to talk about what we want what we have okay so i'll guide us through so last, last night, night what did, I woke up, yeah i want to Hold on. Hold on. That didn't work right. Um, is it lying? It might be lying. Give me a sec. It says this video doesn't exist anymore, but it must. I think it just cut off the... Uh... Lazy me right now. What is this one? Oh, it does pop up over here. Here we go. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I should be able to grab the other one. Do you think that'll get copyright? <laughs> Let's go ahead a bit here. I mean, that's pretty, um, a radical imagination. I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Whoops, hold on. I don't think this is a uh, radical imagination artist. Oh, oh, this is her dad. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I have to skip around. Hold on. So this is a person talking, and then oh, is this her? Is that Daisy? Uh. That's not Daisy. Violence is her dad. Uh, I'm not trying to send us down the wrong road. <laughs> hey, where is she in the... Uh, I didn't realize this was an hour. Hold on. Uh, I'm just going to skim through and see. Okay, nothing. Um, let me grab the other one here. Ooh. And then we'll, we'll go back to... Um, I don't know what the... What is it called? Working? The workshop? Uh hippie whatchama who's it fancy oh yeah remember when she was like there is a video with my mom with president reagan thank you again thank you keep up the good work thank you thank you you're welcome bye bye President, and yes. President. All right. This <laughs> is so that was Daisy's mom and her as a kid with President Reagan. Acceptance, harmony. Yeah. I yeah. Last night you wanted ex um, acceptance and you wanted harmony. Oh, is Daisy's mom? Who was the little girl then with her mom? Just her sister? Or just like a random chick? Yeah. 
these are like body sensations, universal needs. While I do repair work with my partner, I have these online. Otherwise, we're going to talk about what's wrong with the other person. We're going to give our evaluation. So, okay. Um, I hear that last night you wanted um, affection. And. Uh, okay. The little girl was it. There you go. Yeah. So now she, now here she is. That must be a crazy weird life. You met Re President Reagan and now you're living homeless on the beach doing workshop. Is it called workshop with Prince? With not so perfect Prince, which is repair work. That's what we're, that's what we're doing here. Repair work. Last night I wanted affection also. Um, and last night I wanted affection and closeness and love and sweetness and kindness. Um, I wanted close, I wanted sweetness and kindness while I lied down on the wood floor and I wanted affection and closeness. So now you go. <laughs> I wanted, uh, Does he have something written down? You should just know what you want. You shouldn't have to write it down to remember. Imagine, are people like that? I hear there's some people that don't have like voices in their head. Maybe that makes me sound crazy. Not that there's voices in my head, but like there's no voice in their head. Like when you think things in your head, when you guys think things, do you think things like with words or do you think? Like conceptually, or do you do both? Actually, we'll do a poll because um, I think it's crazy. Some people don't think like in words at all, like just conceptually, which I don't know how that fucking works. Like, I wanted to be like <clears throat> giving warm toward me. Last night you wanted warmth. Okay. Yep. And, and I wanted kindheartedness, and I wanted you to like be fond of me, and I wanted you to. Uh, Kindness. You wanted me to be fond of you, yep. admire you. Those sound like beautiful invitations that I love. Anything else? I wanted, um, how did, how did you feel when you didn't get what you wanted? The, look at this one instead of instead of this one it has too many judgments and stuff so how did you feel i don't so this is a feeling word list that i do not like i do not like it because it has too many judgments in it this is a really good needs list and we're actually using a body sensation list right now because so it's body sensations feelings needs so we don't actually i might have a feeling list in here so what else, what did you feel last night when your needs were not getting met? I felt alone. I felt, uh, impulsive. I felt... The people I'm talking about learn to recognize letters and how words look. They don't hear cat in their head, but they know C plus A plus T equals cat. Um, I don't even know how I learned how to read. But I just can read. Um... I've never really thought about, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. I think both ways, like it just depends like, what I'm thinking about, but to not like think in words to me just seems kind of not absurd. I just can't imagine it. I can't imagine it. Um, So when, when I was not able to meet your needs for affection and closeness and kindness, can we sit um, lotus pose? That's where you sit. My hands are hurting me a little. You sit like this and then I straddle you and I sit here. You could go like this if you want, if that's more comfortable. Yeah, I think that's what they're getting at. Like she she wanted the dick and he didn't he didn't put out, I guess. No, they're having fucking repair session. And then put your booty right there. Okay. So now it's my turn. So we're talking about what happened last night. Prince and I had a rift last night and we want to resolve it because now we're back to same old stuff. So last night, I hear that you felt empty 
and that you wanted affection and fondness and warmth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wanted affection and fondness and warmth and kindness also. And I felt sad because when I, when I saw, when I saw that I stayed on the wood, um, I, I started to feel sad and scared in, res, in response to my environment. And I felt frustrated and helpless. I felt, I felt closed and constricted because I was lying on the wood because my back felt really good. And it was the only time I stopped tossing and turning. And I loved lying down on the wood. And I felt. I guess like if maybe, maybe this is a big example. I don't even know. I don't know how we got here. But like if you need to go to the store, do you think like I need to go to the store? Or do you just like visualize yourself walking to the store? And then in silence, your brain is just silent. And then you just start walking there. <laughs> That's what I imagine. Just like. Cause like I can, I can think in concepts without words. Like there's no words to it, but like, it's just easier for me to be like, I need to go to the fucking store in my brain. And then like me, I'm saying that in my brain and that's, that's me. Um, and then I just like to see what happens to the walk to the store. I don't know, but that's maybe, maybe I should have worded like that. I felt sad because I noticed what you're feeling. I noticed exactly what you said, that you were feeling empty and sad. So what did you... So now we're going to talk about what we did after in the form of I want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after I saw you <clears throat> felt the way that you felt, I wanted to leave. And I wanted to be forceful. And I wanted to be angry. And I wanted to be, um, I wanted to discharge too. Because I felt that I. She wanted, she wanted to come. I was, um, I felt that I was overwhelmed and there was a lot of, um, I, I felt volatility and I felt in, intensity in my stimulus and, um, it made me feel, um, hopeless and helpless and then I wanted to leave and I left so now you say what you wanted to do see how I didn't once talk about you mm -hmm. okay and I did kind of talk about the stimulus and the environment a little but I kept it very like neutral mm -hmm. right so right now Prince and I are doing repair work so we're trying to keep it really neutral because we had a big fight last night okay so she wanted to fight he wanted to bang and she wanted to lay on the wood instead of the bed and started having a crazy fight. Okay. Jill was probably there because Jill, Jill knows all about this crazy lady. Um, okay. So that's what she means. <laughs> she just wanted to fight. Okay. Okay. She was talking in very strange ways and he's not talking at all. He seems to have trouble communicating. Starting at like 3 a.m. So go ahead. I wanted, um, so, so now we're talking about what you wanted and how you felt mm -hmm. once. Why are you cutting him off? He was just about to talk. So I left. Well, so I wanted you to come to bed and I wanted tenderness and I wanted, uh, that's, I felt, well, I know I'm looking at I wanted, yeah, so, I'm looking for. so if you can do the, mm -hmm. and actually these are the ones that we have difficulty. So the, we're looking at these. These are the body sensations and universal needs. I wanted like grace and forgiveness and empathy. And I also wanted us to um, trust one another. And Here's my feeling word list. Mm -hmm. Body sensations. Needs. Mm -hmm. This is a really good one. Let's use this one instead. Okay. Um, so when I went outside 
and you you wanted me to come to bed you wanted all these things i wanted to throw stuff and break stuff and i wanted to um throw heavy rocks i wanted to yeah i mean like i'm pretty early today i was at i'm here i was here like seven that's miraculous it's miraculous um so maybe like we can figure like, like we can jump around um oh okay i mean if it gets too boring we can always jump a little bit ahead is this the this is the one where she storms off right oh she storms out with the camera i thought he was gonna she was gonna storm off and leave the camera with prince that would have been i guess that wouldn't have made sense that was her phone y'all that's what i wanted to do now you go i wanted um to relax and to be quiet and you know we're talking about what we did and we're gonna say i wanted to yeah i wanted silence yeah but what did you what did you do and I, I, i'm screaming and yelling and throwing stuff and what do you do i wanted to invite you into you didn't though so we're gonna say what we did and if i said what i wanted i would have loved to like well, okay, now she's just being confusing because she's like, what did you want? And he's saying what he wanted, but then she's disagreeing. Like, why? just let him finish the thought. Just, he, she, he let you go on and on and on and on. Just, just let him finish. If I really wanted something, then I think I would have wanted to, instead of going outside and screaming and yelling and throwing rocks, I would have wanted to... Um, because it didn't feel like a safe environment in the home. So I think in that moment, I would have wanted to go to like a quiet place and cry. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have wanted to do, but I didn't do that. I threw stuff and I yelled. And what did you do? Did you hit? Did you grab? Did you yell? Did I you yelled, throw? And I uh, grabbed you. Was, you don't have to say that. You just say, I grabbed, I, I grabbed. hit, I yelled. I grabbed. Okay. I yelled. Did you throw? No. I didn't throw anything. Anyone? No. You didn't grab and then throw? Did the thing you uh -huh. grabbed fall to the ground? Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's what happened then. I don't know. Um, okay. So then I noticed that when after i wanted to throw and yell then oh, yeah. i noticed that my environment made me feel angry oops Wait. and i felt really angry mm -hmm. i felt heavy and burdened um and i felt i felt desperation can we like why get to the why like we get like how how you felt yeah for sure i don't know how this happened or what this is about or why can we just get to those parts i don't really care how they felt or what they wanted what actually happened because like this prince is where you interrupt her and be like ah tell me, tell me what happened then or you know we need we need context and then i wanted to hit Right? I did hit. So I'm going to say I wanted to hit. Anything that we did do, we're going to say I wanted to because we're going to own what we did, that we want to, that we're choosing it. Be and then we're going to, after this, we're going to say, so we're doing right now the hindsight with acknowledgement. Then we're going to go back and do the hindsight. Here, give me your headphones. Then we're going to go back and do the hindsight. Get this on. Get it ready. Was this live? Does he just sit here doing nothing, looking down at the ground? This is interesting. Oh, he's leaving too. Oh, okay, great. We're just getting left here. You gotta say that again. This guy's been Come here.
Why did you get up and leave the fucking repair workshop? What happened? What the fuck was that? Did she just go get drugs? I wanted to hit. And then what did you want to do after that? I wanted you to come inside. That's what I wanted. We're going to say what we did. We're going, okay, listen, inside. if we can't acknowledge, then we can't do the repair work. I wanted you to come inside. This is so. Well, I did it at 1.25 because I can listen to things at 1.75. But when I tried to do, when I even tried to do 1.25, I think with uh, who the fuck did I marry? People were like, it's too fast. Turn it off. Um, so we'll see. Let's see how uh, 1.25 works out. And if it's too fast, just let me know. And we can we can savor these moments, you know. Um, it'll be okay. I remember begging you. Are you are you going to do this with me or not? I want I want us to do I wanted okay. appreciation, recognition. That's what I wanted. I wanted you to come inside and, and, and stop yelling. That's what I wanted. What did you do? I tried driving you to get you to come inside. Cheap little flower? No, I've never heard of him. I'll put him in the thing. Dang. We're not. We're not going to talk about. We're not going to say you, me. We're not going to talk about what happened. It's I too. Oh, look, shit. it's too triggering. There's too many words. You need. Also, I got to make a bingo card. Um, so put like bingo words in. I can put that. I make a list for that. I gotta put the. Look, I stop. The exercise needs to stop right now. Stop. Okay, here it is. Stop. Okay. Take a breath. Come closer. I want to do this work. By doing this, the process, I know. Do you want to do that too? Do. Or do you want to go on all I these do. different tangents? I do, but I don't feel comfortable saying things that are untrue because you want me to say them. No, you can say, so say, you what can say whatever happens. you want. I'm not telling you what to say. Okay. I'm telling you that we're not talking about what happened. You keep because... asking me then what happened next. I'm telling you what happened next. I asked you to come and Stop. Pause, 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 pause. We're going to, to use the process of I want, I feel. I want. No, connection. stop. Stop talking. I need to go over the directions again. Just stop. Hold on. Is this where it gets? Is this where it gets juicy? Because I'll put it back to normal speed for the afflections, afflections and shit. Um, because yeah, that I think we should get, you know, the full thing. Uh, but when they're like, like things are slowing down, we'll speed it back up. Because uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, why don't you go? Pull Chill out. Okay. Can stop. Can you pay attention? Now you're triggered. You need to breathe and come back. Take some breaths. Take some breaths. Put your hand on your heart. No one's going to make you say anything. You only say what you want to say. Okay? You got that? Here, why don't we move down here into the shade? Oh my god. Well, they tricked me, guys. They tricked okay, me. Okay, well, I want to move in the shade. Okay, will you join me? Let's do the repair work so we don't have to keep having the same fight over and over again, having the police come to our house, hitting and creating a really scary environment for everyone. Okay, we don't want to do that anymore. We want to do repair work. So we're going to use a very slow process so that we don't become triggered because that's what happens. We get triggered. So we're not going to talk about what happened last night. Wait, what? I thought that was the whole point of this. What do you mean we're not going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? We're not on it. We're not going to talk about what happened last night. We're going to talk about what we want and what we feel. Okay? okay. So the process is we acknowledge what happened. We're going to say, so there was hitting last night. There was. Ah, oh, who hit who? Daisy? Daisy was hitting you. There was yelling last night. There was throwing last night. There was grabbing last night. There was intimidation. There was on both parts. Okay. Well, you're kind of describing what happened. I, 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 she's breaking her own rules. Yeah, we already know how they feel. We already went over this in the first, like, I don't know how far in we are. 17 minutes. That's all we've been feeling about how we feel and what we want. And we want to move each of us. So we're, the first piece we're going to do is we're going to acknowledge it. We're going to acknowledge that we were threatening and, and hitting and that we were doing all these things. And then after we acknowledge, and we're going to use the process I felt, I wanted to like, 
I wanted to hit, I wanted to yell, I wanted to throw, I wanted to scream, I wanted to, we're gonna look at ourselves without any judgment or shame or blame. We're gonna look at ourselves with curiosity and clarity and empathy. We're going to really try to attune to our own bodies and feelings. What were we feeling in that moment? Of course we chose this, what else can we choose? So after we acknowledge, then we're going to create, so we do hindsight by acknowledging, then we go in and we create foresight. So we do this by looking at, at the hindsight and being like, ooh, like I did this and here's another choice and here's another choice or, or, or this is what I want. Like this is what I did and this is what I want to do instead. <clears throat> instead of you know, threatening, demanding, hitting, grabbing, throwing, yelling, instead I give myself the gift and choose to fill in the blank, call an empathy buddy, go for a walk that is at least one hour long and I do not return until my nervous system is regulated and I make sure during that time I do X, Y, Z, like meditation, call an empathy buddy, some yoga, some breath work. We're, we're going to create the foresight. Oh, I hit instead of hitting. Like I want to yell and discharge in a place where it doesn't harm anyone away from the stimulus of my anger. Instead, I want to discharge by jumping up and down or like, no, these things are too loud at 3 a.m. So instead I choose to clench my fist really tight and shake my body and hug myself and deep tissue massage or get the Theragun and Theragun myself or then just go to basically just be a uh, an insane person okay okay um that's a good place face the puzzle Theragun you or that's too loud too at 3 a.m we're going to create the foresight and then we're going to get insight in the moment so do you want to do this exercise or do you want to just keep repeating the same pattern and the police can come and we can just keep threatening and yelling and demanding and doing the patriarchal bullshit where we puff up and use our power over each other by scaring each other or intimidating each other or punishing each other so that the other person doesn't dare do that again. I don't want that. I want integration. I want us to, to love each other. Like, oh, I'm hearing that, that um, as you acknowledge this, like that now you want this and that makes me feel this. Like I'm softening. I want to have this conversation with you. And if we start talking about what happened and you did this and I did this, and da, 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 it's not going to help. We're just going to acknowledge like our strategies that we use that we don't want. I don't want to hit. I don't want to throw me, myself, me. I do not want to hit. I do not want to throw. Okay. I'm okay going out and being like, Rah! and like discharging. And I'm okay with discharging in ways that do not harm. Although at 3 a.m. I think screaming and yelling like that scares the, scares the humans and the animals are scared all day because of what humans do but i know it startles the humans because they call the police and i'm going to own my shit and tell you that when i'm in an environment where i'm intimidated and scared and my feelings are being hurt because i'm not treated with the consideration or respect that i really 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 need in order to thrive i'm gonna have a natural reaction to my surrounding a healthy I know, right? She is making for Prince now. I would, I did not like Prince last time, but I mean, like, I don't, I just don't think they're right for each other. This is bad. This is a bad relationship. She is, uh, she's something else. I don't even know why he's still here. Did you, did you run off yet? I would have ran off. One. And I'm going to, I'm going to start acting out if I don't have healthy ways to discharge. And right now, when it's just you and me alone at 3 a.m., like, I start to move into fight or flight. It's like fight, attacking, or running, or freezing, or like, I don't want to be that hyped up. I want to find other ways and be creative and conscious right now and figure out how to do it. Do you want that too? True. Do you like the exercise and or do you want to make any changes to it? I have no idea. Oh, that's what she did when she went off like to go skateboard? I was like, I don't know what that was about, but she got distracted. So she went, come and say it to my face and threaten someone with pepper spray. Does someone like, cat collar or something i've seen daisy do that to other people oh. do you agree that if we talk about what happened and start going down those rabbit holes and start doing these long paragraphs instead of very short sentences that we're going to get triggered sure. okay look at me are you ready to do this work sure. give me your hands face me and take your sunglasses off you're not in the camera i'll turn it so you don't have to be in the camera I know that you wanted me to go in the house. I know you wanted tenderness for me to soften. When we're really hurt and upset and we don't get our needs met and we don't have good strategies. 
Who is the lady from Weeds? I think that would be a good actress um, for Daisy, for Netflix Daisy. I can't remember who that was. To meet our needs. Then we act out. Look at me. Look at me when I talk, please. Okay, I'm listening. It's, uh, I just feel like we're getting exercise, but I'm listening. Well, I mean, they're broken up now. She's uh, still at the place that he's paying for, and the, it's wrecked. The Goddess Temple, the Crack Jack. You got to watch the other. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I think they'll be okay. They'll be all right. Be okay. I'm going to start when I walked out of the house, okay? I walked out of the house because I wanted silence. And I was not getting the silence I wanted, so I wanted to leave. And then when I walked out, I wanted to throw, and I wanted to yell. Okay, so when I was throwing and yelling and leaving the house, what did you want to do then? Or you could say, I chose to, if you don't say, like... Mary Louise Parker? That does not ring a bell at all. That's the actress, though? She has, like, the same name as fucking Mary Jane's name. Mary Jane Parker? Oh, that's pretty crazy. That's crazy that a person like that exists in the world. I was baffled and I was taken aback. And I was, I was, I was, um, uh, aggravated and, um, let down. Um, and I wanted, um, Bro, what? There's a video where she tries to convince him he should stop using the toilet and start using buckets because it's better for the earth. This is... I don't know. I gotta stop being surprised of things. Why? If they have a toilet, just use the toilet. I mean, okay, we were wasting water. Let's drink water out of the toilet. Oh, well, you want water? Like, out of the toilet? No. Nah. Nah. Idiocracy. What did you choose to do? We're going to go through what we wanted when we do the foresight. I chose, right now we're acknowledging. So if you can't acknowledge, I'm going to sit here like, what? <laughs> what? Come on. Like, I'm the only one acknowledging. That's what's coming alive for me. Got it. So if you want to override, I'll just. I chose to come outside and discharge anger with you. Okay. There you go. Okay. And then after you discharged, after, um, after I went outside to get away from you, and then you came outside. May I tell them why I came outside? I was scared because it was very loud, and I just wanted more. Um, I wanted more. Uh, I wanted like silence. I wanted um, peace. Peace. I wanted more harmony. So that was the reason why I came outside. Yeah. So so you. Hey, she sounds angry. He's using your buzzwords. You should, that should make it happen, huh? Wanted so you so could you say it like this, please, just to do the exercise? I chose to go outside. She's training him like a dog. Because I heard it was loud and I wanted peace and harmony. That's right. Say that, please. Yeah, I chose to go. He just said that. What the fuck are you talking about? What was different from what he said? Hold on, we're gonna put it back. Um, I wanted more. I wanted like silence. I wanted um, peace. Peace. I wanted more harmony. So that was the reason why I came outside. Yeah. So, so you wanted, so you, so could you say it like. So what the fuck? What the fuck, Daisy? Oh, she's pissing me off today. And I wanted peace and harmony. That's right. Say that, please. Yeah, I chose to go outside because it was loud and I wanted peace and harmony. Okay. And then look at me. And then you chose to what when you engaged with me? Look at me. I'm turning into the Tasmanian devil now. When you had when you were throwing the rocks, I chose to And you can be very brief, like grab. I chose to yell, grab. hit. Okay. And if you threw something, just say I chose to grab, I chose to throw. I chose, I chose to, to grab to... when you were throwing rocks. Okay. All right. Um when I saw when I had this stimulus and observation of you coming outside and no, I didn't mean to say it. when I had the when I had the observation and saw that that I was not getting the space I needed that um then I chose to go back inside and um and I chose to hit. So when you observed me the stimulus in your environment, what did you choose to do? I chose to and I was yelling too. I hit and I yelled. I chose to yell. And I stormed and, and broke. Then I, and then I and then and I broke stuff. Yeah, and then after that point, I think I left. I chose to leave. You didn't grab or hit? I think 
Um, when I hit, what did you do? When you hit, I grab him. Okay, I hit, you grab. Okay, and then um, when when you grabbed, mm -hmm. then I felt in or when I perceived in my environment okay. like violence. That no, he can come. We love him. We we love when he comes over. He's a little baby, so we're gonna help you raise him like a tribe. Okay. What? A little puppy. Oh, um, okay, when I perceived in my environment, like what was happening, I felt enraged. And um, when I was grabbed and and also I perceived blood on my arm and I felt really, really triggered and hyper. What do you mean you perceived blood on your arm? Did, was there blood or was it not blood? How do you perceive blood? Stop. And then I went outside again and... Um, Self-admitted child abuser. I mean, like, at least she's real about it. Fucking Gala sisters deny that shit. I'm pretty sure, like, you could classify what they exposed Emma to as abuse of a child as well. Uh, who knows? <laughs> that's far back. Uh, but that's not for me to decide. That's for the course side. Hey! Um, who is... What was the other one? Heather? I don't think... Did Heather ever hit her kids? BCG would know. Oh, it's BCG. And then, uh... Then we'll know. And I chose, I chose to call my empathy buddy. And this was now like 3.34 a.m. And I chose to call my empathy buddy because there was now breaking, throwing, hitting, yelling. Okay? And grabbing and all that kind of stuff. So what did you choose to do Emma, I when I called the empathy buddy? I chose to talk to the empathy buddy and leave. Did you push? No, I don't remember pushing. When all right, we should get we should hear back soon. I said it was an important question for science, um, so we'll know in a bit. I was outside, that and was I was before, on the phone with Eric. Beforehand. No, I when think I think trigger, yeah. Uh huh. I decided I didn't. Like and then you chose. Dog, so I chose to push. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hit, and then you push. That's right. And this was on the phone with our empathy buddy. I don't remember that fact. No, but okay. I, the reason why we're acknowledging it so we can look at it. So look at me. Mm -hmm. Take your sunglasses off and. Can he, he doesn't remember it happening, so we're going to acknowledge something that he doesn't remember fucking happening. So we're going to literally implant memories. Rhea just wants to belong like that Linkin Park song. Yeah. Somewhere I belong on Autism Island. That is fucking coined by Rachel herself. Can you actually look at me? So I feel like you're, this is actually going through your thick skull, so I don't have to live in... Oh my goodness, Daisy. Calm down. Why are you being so mean now? What are you being mean for? This kind of volatility. I'm like, you're being volatile. You're speaking to me. I'm unavailable for this. Okay, I have a phone here. call at 1 30 okay. to talk to a caseworker to right, well, finally I'm, get I'm, my spot. I'm unavailable. A spot for what? Oh, for the for a homeless shelter. We'll and at 3 a.m. next time, I'm going to leave and go to my spot. I'm unavailable because for this space. Do you want please, to okay, okay, please. I'm please okay, I'm stopping you. Please, okay, can you please can you look at me when I'm talking to you? I don't care. Turn and look toward me. I'm unavailable. I'm leaving now. Oh my God. I'm unavailable. I'm unavailable to be spoken this way. I will not I'm yell very triggered right now. You there. need to get away from me right okay, now. I apologize, but I'm not going to. All right, I'm stopped. I'm I want to do this repair work. So I, I have a want I want to share. I want to look into each other's eyes, and I don't want to break the gaze because. Like, that's what you got to do to snakes, you know, or else I'll kill you. Maybe. I'd say poisonous. Or like snakes on a plane. Though all those snakes wanted to kill everybody all the time for no fucking reason. I perceive that when I'm not making eye contact, there's no reason to wink at me either. I can't I... see. It's very sunny out. It's very bright out here. Would you like to sit where I am and then face the sun? You can. Okay, crap. Sit right here then. Sit right behind the camera. Right here. Okay, that's better. Okay. So, this window so I right. want to make eye contact because it helps me feel like I'm being heard. I and understand. when I don't see eyes, I feel like perhaps the word or message is just kind of frivolous and that's just my perception and it really helps me feel at ease and it's my strong preference to have eye contact how does it feel hearing me say that i heard you that's a lincoln park song too until he breaks i'm about to break <laughs> their whole relationship is just a lincoln parks oh wait no ria ria was the other lincoln park song i don't know it's just a lincoln park kind of day i guess i'm asking how it makes you feel do you recoil do you lean in do you like it you don't like it how do you feel it feels neutral well, because she apologized, so he came back. He probably should have just—he like probably should have just left. I just acknowledge that's your preference. If that's your preference, so it's within your willingness. It's my willingness, yeah. Okay. 
So then, then I could have the predictability of having eye contact moving unless, forward. Yes, unless I need to squint for the sun or rub my eye or some object or something like that happens. Yes, I will do my best to maintain eye contact. As much Your eyes are like. Yeah, but he doesn't even need to be around if he doesn't want to be around. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> he is really being closed while you're looking at me. Do you want to switch places? Sure. Or sit here. Please, please find somewhere where you don't have to close your eyes while you look at me. This is the only. There you go. I can sit here. I mean, you can sit there. I mean even when they were at their best, he was looking off into the sunset while talking. He doesn't make eye contact with people. Like you should know that you married the guy. There, here, I need to speak away from the sun entirely. Okay, is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> okay. So right now we're acknowledging that everything we do, we're choosing to do. And we have other options. We do not have to hit. We do not have to grab. We do not have to yell. We do not have to awaken the neighbors. We do not have to have visits by the Pacific Division Police Department. We do not have to do any of this. We can choose other things. So I want us to, to acknowledge what we're choosing to do. I'm acknowledging I'm choosing to hit. I'm choosing to yell. I'm choosing to throw. Maybe don't do that. Okay. And it doesn't that is illegal. <laughs> Technically, right? Like that. You're not allowed to do. You can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. It's like I want to lie on the floor and my back's hurting. You want affection and love. Okay. I want space and silence. Okay. And then you become enraged. Now I'm not getting space and silence. Now I remove my Yeah, see, so just because she's crazy doesn't mean he can be crazy back. He's supposed to either Look, if he wants to fucking be an insane lunatic and put up with her, he's got to put up with her or he's got to leave. He doesn't get to like fucking hit her back. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I still like out of the two of them, like Daisy's crazy, but like everyone knew Daisy's crazy. She lives on the fucking beach and you've, you've seen everything she does. Right. So I don't know. Prince should have known what he was getting himself into. And if he, it's not working, it's not working. I get like wanting your house back, but then I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a mess myself now i'm so upset now i'm discharging and throwing stuff and i'm so angry when i walk out the door that when i'm getting dressed i pull the dresser drawer out it falls to the ground it no, breaks it. It's because it's let me finish and then you could say i i was so upset and i go outside i discharge you come outside and you're upset and you grab and at that point i'm so upset i go inside the house i don't know you you just I was hitting you, throwing things at you, but you grabbed me outside. So that's like I don't know why does she why is there these double standards for Daisy? And now I want to hit because I've been in an environment with grabbing. And now oh, okay, so the grabbing happened first. Okay, oh, okay. Now because I hit now again, you grab, and then after you grab, then I call empathy buddy, and then I hit, and then you. I mean, she's also been like controlling this whole conversation narrative. So I don't even know if what fucking actually happened. I don't think we're going to hear it from Perfect Prince. Is his name actually Prince or is it Chris? I feel like his name should be Chris, but it's is it Prince? You push and then I hit and then you push and I'm on the phone with the empathy buddy and he wants to talk to you and, and you choose to not talk to him at that time. Why are you calling up other guys? <laughs> this is happening now. No. And I'm on the phone with him, and it's so loud by this time. And I walk outside, and there's four cops. And now I want space, not only from you, but I want space from these four cops. And I start yelling. What is it? He's the blonde silent type. I think it's supposed to be the strong silent type. We're going to call him the blonde silent type. And I do not give you my consent to the this cops. How the exercise is supposed to work. You no. can share next because we're not, it's taking too long. So you can just tell me next what you wanted to do, what... And at that point, I wanted I wanted police gone. I just wanted, and then it was cold outside. So now I'm like, oh, I just want like silence and sleep. And then I'm like, whoa, this is a lot of volatility. I really want peace and harmony and, and more conscious communication yeah. and creative ways to collaborate <laughs> to meet our needs, especially in 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. when I'm lying on the wood floor because it's How the only time I stop. I'm going to let you share. Do not interrupt me. It's the only time I stop tossing and turning cool. when I'm lying on the wood floor. And I say, just give me a couple hours or give me whatever long. Our mattress is on the floor. Snuggle up next to me. Let's rub each other's feet. Let's touch each other while I'm literally I touching your body, lying what? exactly next to you on the wood floor. And your mattress is only four inches tall. So you're right next to my body. 
And I'm sorry, I can't be on the bed with you snuggling right now. I'm meeting my needs for X, Y, Z. Now I can't have sleep or peace or the couple hours rest I asked for or the reprieve on my back because now I'm all clenchy and tense. So now I walk out and I leave. How do we interrupt the pattern? Like, this is just not working for me. All right, tell me. What happened? It's not working. What happened? Oh, my eyes. I want to hear you acknowledge so then we can do the foresight. What happened? I acknowledge that sometimes I'd have struggle with giving your space in silence. But I also struggle with the way you discharge your anger when I don't honor your space in silence. I struggle with knowing how to handle that kind of discharge of emotion and knowing how to react to it when it's in my environment. I get scared, I get panicked. I don't know what to do when you're when you're discharging your anger to that degree. Discharge. When you threw the rock at the door and you damaged our front door, I became very, very startled and scared. Wait, did she damage the front door? I thought he damaged the front door. She said it was Prince, but maybe she meant Prince did something which made me throw a rock through our fucking door. Um, Ricky Bobby? Ricky Bobby's a cool cat. I'm afraid. And when you were throwing rocks in the street, I was scared not only for your safety, but for my safety as well. My reaction was to try to stop your body from doing whatever it was doing, which was throwing the rocks. I did it violently in a way that didn't feel good for you, and I grabbed you because I wanted you to stop. Maybe in the future, when it gets to that point and you're discharging anger, maybe I just let you discharge your anger and get out of the environment and come back to you when you're in a space where you feel as though you don't need to throw things or do things like that. Because if we're already there, then that's where we're at. We need to pick up the pieces where we're at, right? Because if you're already there, and that's how angry you are. No, no, no. We're talking about what happened. We're acknowledging. I'm not ready to do foresight yet. Okay. So what did you do? You grabbed me. Okay. You pushed me. Yes. What else? They did take you... turns wrecking it. That's such a small little place, too. Like, all those things are so crammed together. Their neighbors must fucking hate them. Did you talk to your empathy buddy? Yes, I did. Tell, me, tell me what happened. What did you do when the cops came? Did you yell at them? That Tell them you didn't give them you their consent? No, I didn't. I did they me. walk in the house? They did. I was using the police restroom. walked in our home while you restroom. were in the bathroom. That's right. And I came out of the bathroom and I kindly talked to them. I looked at the two cops, the two black guys. I said, what are you doing? Cops were. What do you mean? The, why? What do you, why the, okay. We're created to keep enslaving black colored humans. We need to right? stop doing this shit. Stop using you power over. Me, stop using violence. Can you not interrupt me, please? It's okay. We'll be soft. He'll help me not yell at my partner. But not, oh, we'll watch him. I'm soft. Go You're ahead. Not soft. This is not working. I'm not going to interrupt you. Go ahead. And you answer things that you can't give. Stop saying that. Tell me what happened. Acknowledge your shit so I don't got to worry about my environment. This is not working. The way you're treating me and the way that, the way that you're speaking to me and the way you're looking at me, this is not working for me. We should... <laughs> it's just out of the person water around the dog. Do this later. I'm going to go home. I'm going to get what I need from home. We'll come back and try this in like two hours, okay? Hey. You're not going to do repair work? Not right now, not the way that you're treating me, no. I'm not saying that it's off the table. I would love to do repair with you. I would love to have that with you. I would love for us to move forward in love and harmony and peace, but not this way. Not the way you're treating me, I'm not available. I'm sorry, I'm not available for this. I love you, we'll try in two hours, okay? All right. I honor your choice. All right, so I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. What's up? Scoob is here. Whoa. All right, well, he's gone. So this is the perfect, this is the perfect prince episode. What did I name this? Oh, more Daisy and perfect prince. That's what it is. Um, so she just, she's alone in this world. So we'll go to with my perfect, what's getting woken up by angry prince. That's only 26 minutes. So I think that'd be, that'd be a good one. We'd be able to, to land just a bit off a uh, nine there probably. That's too long. We can't do that one. Perfect Prince Overload. These two seem... We might have to do a part two of Perfect Prince. Um, and then tomorrow, we're just going to do, like, whatever happened from last Thursday to this Thursday. Uh, or, like, the highlights. So we'll prep it tomorrow. Maybe tonight. I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, Hangry Prince. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, let her read chat. Let her read the chat. Uh oh, hold on. <laughs> it should just play right from um, where it was before. Because it was just loaded. Da -da 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 -da. Bum, bum. Da -da -da -da. No, that was here. Well, probably not. 
chili. Dogs now. The strategy. It's the first time I've tried the strategy of being mean to Cooper, and that's. Um, we'll come back and try this in like two hours, okay? Hey, you're not gonna do repair work? Not right now. Not the way that you're treating me. No, I'm not saying that it's off the table. I would love to do repair work with you. I would love to have that with you. I would love for us to move forward in love and harmony and peace, but not this way. Not the way you're treating me. I'm not available. I'm sorry. I'm not available for this. I love you. We'll try in two hours, okay? All right. I honor your choice. Oh. All right. So I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. What's up? Scoob is here. Whoa. What was that? Everything okay? Chrissy. Hi, Daisy. It's Chrissy. I love you guys. Please don't let your guys Davy. What? That's her admitting to being the dog. Which one? The. The one? When she said that's the first time she tried to be the strategy to Cooper. Oh, Cooper the dog. Okay. Um. What was that? Like it was an hour in. Well, we'll do that after we hear her. I need to grab another drink. I wanted to let play. Be ruined. Try to remember to be flattered instead of overwhelmed by his needs. Bottom line, Jeff wakes up every night next to your warm, beautiful body. You can I can't imagine how they're getting the baby back. Hopefully not. Can't get too mad for him wanting to not. be so close to you at times. Yeah, that's really crazy. Yeah. Thank you. I'm trying to do repair work with my partner. And this is how we do it. So we acknowledge what happened. And we say things like, yeah, you know, I had needs that were up for order and peace and harmony. And I really want to have new experiences and kindness and grace moving forward. Experiences where we have more self-connection and connection to others. I want us to be able to have predictability, stable environment. I want us to be able to bond, be present and tender, appreciate, be known towards each other. What can we do? What strategies can we do? We don't want to hit. Here's the thing. I don't want I don't want to hit. I don't like it. I was so upset. It was 3 a.m. And I could not believe that Prince was like yelling and berating me. And it was like, I told him I didn't want to snuggle. And I just, I wanted to lie on the wood. My back it was like making me turn and I wood. couldn't sleep. The only time I could, I could stop tossing and turning and lie still was lying on the wood floor. And I was really upset because it was 3 a.m. and I really wanted to sleep. And my partner kept not leaving me alone. And then I got really furious, which is a secondary emotion. I mean, really, I was just sad. I was sad because I, I, wa I didn't want it to be true. I didn't want it to be true that I had a partner that was unable to give me the space that I needed. I didn't want it to be true that I couldn't go to sleep. I didn't want that to be true. I didn't want it to be true that I didn't have the words to soothe my partner that although he was telling me what he needed, he needed affection and closeness. And I did not have it in me. Like I did not have the willingness at all. And overriding. Well, Jill's right again, guys. See, Jill is. Jill is on the money. In myself to people, please, is something that I am tired of. And I'm learning to not do that. I'm detoxing these patriarchal con like programs that I have that tell me that I need to people please and override my needs to take care of this person. Because if I don't get in the bed and snuggle my partner, he's not going to let me sleep. And he's going to, like, if I just get up and go snuggle with him when, and do everything he wants so I don't rock the boat, then I'm in a codependent relationship. And that's exactly what I was telling Prince last night. I was like, I do not want codependency. I want you to be responsible for meeting your own needs. I don't want to be responsible for meeting your needs. I want you to be responsible for meeting your needs. I get that you want snuggles and closeness and affection. You need to find another strategy. I cannot be your only strategy. That's what I tell him. And she she wants him to have like a, a she hive. Like he, that was the plan. That was the plan. That was the fucking plan. And then he has, she has all these um, endless kings. That's what she said. That's what she described it. Uh, her fiat. Yeah. No. Um, she just she didn't feel like Prince. She just didn't feel like Prince. And I hate that, like, at 3 a.m., when my partner's wanting closeness. So she called it her empathy buddy. And snuggles, like, then I literally have to, like, get up and leave the house and go flee somewhere else. 
And that's the environment I'm in because I will not be in volatility. I'm very upset at myself for hitting the dog, but Prince. What the fuck? Okay. Well, there you go. Hitting the dog. You know, with the grabbing and I guess he says he didn't throw me, but for me. What the fuck did the dog have to do with anything? Like maybe I collapsed, but it's like you don't grab someone. You don't hit. You don't. You don't hit a fucking dog. And when I was. An innocent party. It was in that kind of environment. Like sometimes I will leave and I'll skateboard. And I Repsion told me he hit a dog in the head one time. That was a. That was a I don't know. I don't believe him. I don't know why I said it. I think because he, he punched a wall and he didn't want to admit it. And he was like, oh, I had to punch a dog in the head. Yeah. And I'm just so enraged. That's just my way of processing. Like when someone hits me, I turn into a bully. And bullies make sense. Also, like women who are stepmothers and they're with their partner and their partner pisses them off. They don't like their partner. Then it makes sense to me how like step parents will be mean to stepchildren because Cooper Prince's dog is an extension of Prince. So Prince is, is hitting, brutalizing, grabbing, throwing me. It makes me want to do the same thing to Prince. And if Prince is too big and strong because I'm too scared to do it to him, then I'm going to do it to his dog. So that is that's a good question, Shrek. What is Daisy? What is Daisy's horoscope? Is she a Scorpio or a Taurus? She's definitely not a Pisces. Is she a Gemini? She might, do you think? Ah! I don't know if she's in Gemini or not. What the hell? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. What the hell? <laughs> the, the horoscope thing? We have to know everybody's horoscope. Or zodiac sign. Is it the zodiac sign? The zodiac killer? That was a guy. I think it's zodiacs, right? It's the same thing. Like, uh, Prince says that he had stepmoms that were, would brutalize him and were so mean to him. We're passing the violence. She's a Libra? What? Really? Why are all these crazy people like Libras are usually chill as fuck. Like I get along with Libras, but James is a Libra and this lady's a Libra. What is Heather? I can't remember what Heather is. It's on and we just keep traumatizing instead of re-traumatizing instead of breaking the chains unless we do the work. And I don't believe that we ever have to have the same fight twice. And at 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. by the time I called my empathy buddy, which is Prince's empathy buddy too. He lives in New York City. Um, he's amazing. He ends his day or night for us. And um, we've never met him in person. He's from our group with the psychologist that we go to on Wednesday mornings. It's a free drop-in group therapy call where you watch other people get therapy and you go into private rooms. And watching other people get therapy is really healing. That's why I like... Yeah. See? Shrek is a cool guy. Shrek's a Libra. It's weird. Libras are really like hit or miss, I guess. Like, they're either fucking terrible or, like, super cool. That's scary. It's kind of scary. I mean, I guess Geminis are kind of like that, too. I fucking hate Geminis. I'm the only Gemini, like... <laughs> just This is great. I'd like to come here and do my work with you guys, because I think we're coming into a world where we're not going to shame and blame and judge and punish. We're going to... That's violence. Like, if we want to stop violence, we need to stop responding with violence to violence. <laughs> punishing blaming shaming judging it's just more violence so that's why i'm coming here with my shitty violence and letting you guys know i hit um i intimidated the dog to the point where he was like drooling and scared him because because i was sick and tired of scaring me i don't like this strategy it's the first time i've tried the strategy of being mean to cooper and that's the strategy of being mean to cooper by hitting him is a, as a strategy. Okay. That's why I'm talking about it on my live stream because I, I don't think that it's okay to be mean to creatures or any life form, especially with the amount of power that adult humans have. We have incredible responsibility to be life enriching and not harm. And I feel I'm mourning. Like I cried my eyes out. I was like, oh, like ugly crying because. <laughs> this is a, that's a great example of her cry. <laughs> I'm doing the violence. When I brutalize a senior animal, I'm brutalizing myself. I'm brutalizing, I'm showing myself how I'm going to be treated in my senior years. I'm showing myself how I'm going to be treated in my vulnerability. Hey, Come on. Come on, start this Prince, perfect Prince needs some friends. Jill, you're a, I'm sorry, Jill. I'm, I've, I'm sure we get along. No, I like you, Jill. I'll take it back for now. Uh, there's just like, there's so many Geminis that I fucking hate. Um, but I'm a Gemini. So, you know, yeah, no. If you want, I could watch him in my ear. I guess I'll leave and just go, huh? No, I'm trying to teach you to learn. Yeah, that's right. It's the teaching stage. Stay with Papa. He's a cute little puppy. So, 
I'll say this. All the Geminis that I hate are men. So maybe it's just male Geminis that I don't like. I don't think I know actually any female Geminis. Or maybe I do and I just don't know like their birthday. Actually, no, I probably would if they're Geminis because I'd be like, oh, our birthdays are close. Yeah, I don't think I know any uh, female Geminis. Hey, John Doe. John Doe wants to know if the government gives me money. So this is one of the things our brains do in this world. We want to evaluate. Right, we want to read right, the news. Right. We want to gossip. Yeah. We want to know who's meeting their needs. How? I want you to try something different, John Doe. I want you to ask me how I'm feeling. I want you to ask me what's alive in me. I I'm sure Megan's mom is magnificent as well. <laughs> like, so there's there's exceptions. There's there is exceptions. You know, I'm sure, like. Right. I want you to ask me how it's all nonsense anyways. It's just like yeah, I I don't know. I like Zodiac said. Oh, you can support me. No, I haven't, Z. I said I was mean to Cooper, not hitting him. And listen, I'm going to start Oh Diana, I gotta give you my new number. Per perfect Prince, um, we got a new number. There was just some mix up with that phone. Long story. I'm going to text you from my other phone. If you guys are going to write negative stuff on my channel when I'm triggered like this, I'm going to immediately block you because I got no capacity for it. Okay. So you're going to ask me how I feel. You're going to ask me how to support me. Okay. This is a place of non judgment. This is a place of growth and learning. It's not where we come and evaluate and gossip and uh, like, no. Okay. This is not what we do here. We're going to learn and grow. Humans are not helping the planet. Humans are hurting the planet. So if we want to help the planet, we need to start speaking another language. I love you, Diana. Diana goes, yeah, meanies. We need to stop speaking the slave language of gossiping. That's where like white people burn each other at the stake because they're gossiping. And the people who are unpopular get burned. And like, there, I read this thing where like this, the queen of France, the, the princess of France was married off in like the 1200s, was married off. Yeah, the princess of okay. I think I think we're good for this one. Let's. I want to see. I want to see getting woken up by angry prince. Unless this is nothing. Is this nothing? Is this something? This twenty six minute one. I'll wait. I'll wait because last time I clicked and I didn't wait. Um, but bum bum bum. Jeffrey Dahmer was a good old Gemini. Yeah, there's not a lot of um. You know, what were these ones? Uh, uh Johnny Depp, Don Trent, Carol Baskin. Oh God, Johnny West, Jeffrey. Yeah, those. That that's a great fucking. If uh, if the Zodiac, fuck it. If there was like basketball team, I don't know. I picked basketball. Just teams, and these guys would be on my team. That'd be fucking terrible. What a terrible team to have of all those people. Um, we do a lot of drugs though, probably. Oh, la, 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 la. you don't remember? Well, let's find out together. It'll be a fun adventure. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe it'll be great. Whoa, whoa, we wa. Whoa, whoa, we wa. Oh, it takes forever to load. Um, I had prep this morning. I got off work and then I uploaded the playlist. That's I all I did. What happened. All I know is Prince was playing video games, and I woke oh. up, and it's just dark. He said something to me. Doesn't even sound like Daisy. Is this real? And basically just started to get pissed off. So that's what's going on. No, it's just real. Turn the phone on. It's it's on her channel, so it must be. Now we're gonna call him. And we're gonna say, what happened? We're gonna ask the prince, what happened? Why were you so angry? Because he started like cussing at me and saying mean things and saying, I feel the same way about you. And we're going to find out what was going on for him. Saying mean things is saying, I feel the same way about you. So you must have, you must have been saying something mean then. Like just fucking common sense would like come to that conclusion. He was saying that because when people mistreat us or abuse us, Usually it's a misunderstanding. That's all it is. And because they're hurting. Where are his live streams? I know. I think you liked me some. Are they in Rumble or something? Are they YouTube appropriate? I guess would be the other question. Are you, is he just unlisting them? 
because he only has the one from like three weeks ago on his YouTube channel. And then I might have got lazy and just was like, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I probably just got hungry and lazy. And they have a need that's up and we're not meeting that need. They invite us in by attacking us. Try to tell us to meet our, meet their needs better. So we'll see. He's not answering. Let's call again. Let's see what happens. Let's yeah, an imposter. Answer. Maybe not. Maybe he's really upset. We might not be able to do repair work tonight. No, no. Hi, this is Jeffrey. Yep. No repair work tonight. So he doesn't want to talk. Well, how is this getting woken up by Angry Prince if there's no Angry Prince? Daisy, did you clickbait us? I mean, it has to be good. It's in Athena's playlist. She would have just put a video in the playlist that wasn't good. Phone's going right to voicemail. Uh, what do you want from me? I already got a so you're Ah, see, I'm just impatient. Patience is a virtue, see? You're fine, so you have the apartment again. Okay, Hello? yeah. Um, yeah, um, goodbye. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Goodbye. I don't understand what... Mama mia! ...happened. He's still cussing at me. So we're going to tell him... We don't give you our consent to cuss at us. So we don't want to be cussed at. We don't want to cuss at you either. Um, what do you want from me? To fight some more? I want you to not cuss at me. I want to find out what happened because I woke up. I have no idea what was going on. Um, in my world, I was just sleeping. And you called for help and screamed and pound the walls. Go fuck yourself. And you keep doing that? Go fuck yourself. And can you understand? So he hung up. So we're going to try to have this conversation with Prince, but he's really pissed off. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like a good idea. Like, this, let's just keep trying. Because it's worked so well the first four times we've done this. He needs to understand that when things get physical and there's physical violence. Hey, Why keep calling me? Why? We don't have to do this now. I'm calm enough, but it seems like you're not calm. Is that true? I'm gone. Like, like, okay, like, you're not hearing me. I'm calling you to do repair work. So if you don't want, I'm not calling to argue. If you don't want to do repair work, I will hang up the phone and I will leave you alone. I'll just tell me what you want. You don't want to do repair work or you do? You kicked me out of the apartment. And told you okay, I'm going to hang up the phone now if you okay, don't want to do repair work. But if you do want to... Okay, he's really pissed off, but we're going to try one more time, okay? Let's see if this works. Why? Love you too, Juan. Thanks for being there. <laughs> the pair work's really important. Oh. Hello. Oops. I'm checking. Hello. Hey, do you want to do repair work? Repair work is not yelling and screaming at each other. You know that. I want to do repair work before bed, but I don't want to argue. If you're going to argue, let's do it another time. But I prefer to do it before bed. But if you can't do it, you need to tell me and not keep cussing at me and yelling at me because we're not doing that anymore. Okay. Well, I'm already gone. So it's okay, I got it. And I don't want you to come back tonight. I just want to do repair work. Do you want to do that too? Okay, I just want to give you a couple of things. Like, there's a lot of cussing, and I do not give you my consent to talk to me like that. You so called me an asshole today. Okay, I called you like one cuss word 12 hours ago, and now you're saying every cuss word at me and woke me up. I have no idea what happened. All I know is that you were playing video games, and you went out with your friends while I was asleep, and I woke up at 1030, and you said something to me about how you feel the same way about me, and, da -da -da -da, and I just woke up. I had no idea what was happening or why you were upset or you feel the same way. I don't even know what that meant, and I just felt like I you were being mean. About, I, was, I had nothing to do with you, actually. Now I was, and then you're like, oh, I woke up. I'm like, um, it had nothing to do with you. And then I was like, whatever. Like, why are you attacking me when I'm playing my video games? That Aww, didn't happen. You were playing this video game? I said you. I wasn't even talking to you. Okay. So what I remember happening was I just remember hearing you say that. And then I remember saying, you feel that. And then he said, oh, and then, 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 then he said, oh, you feel the same way? I'm going to go sleep in the kitchen. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, I wasn't even talking to you. Okay. You go sleep in the kitchen. Okay, Prince. Like, Prince. And that's what I said. Prince. What? What do you want? Okay. So it's not, it doesn't matter what happened. Because you're going to have a story and I'm going to have a story. It's not going to be the same. 
but I just want to do a repair. Oh, I wonder if he knows that. Or <laughs> it'd be crazy if he was like, yeah, that's good. It's fine that she did this work. So repair work is. Well, so, so hey, hey, instead hey, of in hold so print. I want you to tell me at 1030. Where am I sleeping tonight? I want you to tell me. Can, can we get to that point? At the end. Go fuck yourself. Go fucking call the cops. Prince, yourself, Prince, the way that you're talking to me. Okay, people want to know what the fight's over. Fight was over nothing. I was fast asleep. And he just all of a sudden woke up, pissed off, or woke me up. And started cussing. Yeah, I mean, they must have some money. They must have some lawyer friend from when they had money. Yeah, he could. Yeah, no, California is a two-party consent state. Like, they both have to consent for a recording. To have, especially if she's posting it online. Is he not aware that it's online? Does he just not care? He's kind of a pushover. I mean, I, I'm not here. He's like, fuck, go fuck yourself. Or uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe, lawyers don't work for free. So it's probably something else. Started cussing at me. And he said, um, I was fast asleep. I just heard him. And then I said, I'm going to sleep in the other room because he was. He's getting upset and cussing at me. So I said, I'm going to go sleep in the other room. And then I had to yell for the. Hey, hey don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to go to the boardwalk. Hey, listen, go listen, go listen, go Prince. Prince, 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 Prince. If you're calm, I think we can get a lot done together and collaborate so that both of us get our needs met. Do you want that too? Or do you want to stay no, angry? No, 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 no. I, it's no, your choice. If you're going to stay angry, I'm going to go to sleep. But if you want to. Grasshopper Steve, huh? Does he have like a social media? Maybe we should like send him clips of this stuff and be like, you might want to. Well, maybe not. We need what's his face's lawyer, Jerome Jeff Jeffrey, Mister Jeffrey, who's fucking Prince. He's not a Prince. Uh, but yeah, we need Jeff's consent. Be <laughs> like, could you get your shit together? Or we need his lawyer. Actually, collaborate and find a way forward. We can. The way you talk to me tonight and we're cussing at me, I don't give you my consent. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I woke up from a dead sleep. I had no idea what was happening. I felt like I was getting attacked. So I went to the other room and then the cussing and everything didn't stop. I wasn't given the silence I wanted, even though I went in the other room. And I felt like I needed to call for help because things have gotten physically violent between us, which you know, and I get scared. When, when, so when was the last also time? when, when you don't the last stop, time? let me finish. When, was the last time? when you don't stop, let me finish. When you do, when you don't stop cussing and yelling at me, I will scream for help because things have gotten physically violent and I get scared. So that's why I scream for help. You need this. So this repair work. So he just hung up. But basically this repair work is going to be about not cussing and giving each other space when we ask. And yes, Miss Emo, you're right. I've gotten. It's gross. Yeah, what, what does she do? With, what does she do with the lawyer? Like, why is it gross? I'm so oh, violence is pretty common, you guys. I go to bed. I went to bed at like five something last night. I like to get up at three or four in the morning. So we're going to tell him right now. He doesn't. You check your telephone. Please leave a message. I'm going to back you as soon as I can. Yeah, this is not healthy. Um. I am getting my own spot, but when this happens, we separate because also he's not choosing healthy lifestyle. He's going out drinking and playing video games while I'm doing everything healthy. Drinking and playing video games. God damn it. Damn those video games. Yo, Prince. Yo, what's up? I don't want to cuss at each other anymore. And you earlier today, earlier so today, Hold on. Hey, yes, I, yes, I did. Because you're, you get physical and you hit people. He was her sugar daddy 14 years ago. He changed the kid's diapers. He was complicit in the abuse. And now he gets naked and rubs Daisy and weird live streams on her chain. That's the lawyer. The lawyer did this. What the fuck? That's grasshopper. Steve He's giving Steve's a bad name. That's fucking crazy. You Gemini too. Prince, I'm not talking to you because you're not calm. He's not calm at all. Okay, so we're going to send him a text because he's not ready to do repair work. And we'll call tomorrow and see if he wants to do repair work. So we're going to send a text. What's the text going to say? Let's see.
That's crazy. That's crazy. I wonder what she's texting. Look, there's her head. Oh, we get to see the bottom of her head. Look at this. Oh, look her eyebrows. All right, here we go. One more time. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to sleep now. I'm <laughs> she just called to tell him she's going to sleep. That's all. I'm going to sleep. It's clear to me that you're not able to do the repair work tonight, so I'm not going to try anymore. I'm just going to let you do your thing, and I'm going to go to sleep. And, and, right. and, and I will talk and, to you in the morning if you come here tonight. Hey, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting off the phone. If you come here tonight, I am calling the police. I'm getting the neighbors. You do not come home tonight. Uh oh. That's right. That's right. Well, if you want a place to sleep, you need to do repair work. All right. Well, he's not coming home tonight. He doesn't want to do repair work. I'm going to sleep. So we're going to say. I'll try one more time since he's saying he has to sleep outside. It's ridiculous. He has friends. What do you want from me? Okay. I don't want you to have to sleep outside. If you want to do repair work, this is your last chance. I'm not going to hear you yell and scream. It's too draining for me. So you need to search yourself if you are calm. And if you're conscious enough to have this conversation, otherwise I am going to bed. But if you want me to work with you and to do repair work, we can. No, you, I mean, you can threaten my home all you want. And go ahead, last chance all you want. I give a fuck less. I will sleep outside. Okay. Repair work is about, like... <laughs> it's not repair work. That is not repair work, Jeff. When I said a cuss word to you this morning, we had repair work and I talked about the impact on you and how I didn't want to do that. And we reframed it. If you're not ready to do repair work, we don't have to, but if we don't do repair work, I do not feel safe with you coming home tonight. If we do repair work, we can try to figure something out. But this conversation where you yell and scream and hang up on me and say all this stuff, I am not available for that. That's not an adult conversation. That's like a acting out traumatized person conversation. And I'm not available for that. And I don't give That's you my fine. consent to cuss at me and to talk to me the way you talk to me. So if you want to have a respectful, conscious conversation, we can do repair work. Otherwise, I'm going to sleep and you do not come here tonight. I don't care. The neighbors know it. You do not come when we're fighting like this. So do you want to do repair work or would you like for me to give you some space so that you can can have your own emotions and you, have, you could be angry and pissed off all you want? I want you to exercise your ability to force me out of the home that I paid for. That's what I want you to do. Well, with two police reports that you've been violent, I want you all to I have to do, right all I have to, to do, Prince, this is not repair work. This is sarcasm. This is someone who's hurt. This is someone who's acting out their pain. So if you want to be hurt and act out your pain and tell me what's wrong and tell me how horrible it is for you, then, then that's fine. But that's empathy. That's being your soundboard for wallowing and venting. You got angry tonight and scared me and I want to talk about what happened so we can do it better. And if I get angry and I do something, I want to talk about it so I can do it better too. That's right. And if you're not ready to talk about it, we don't have to, but I am not available. Well, then why do you keep calling him to talk about it? Oh, did not play. Do not give you my consent. I just like fucking died. Go fuck yourself. I'll you to sleep. I can't get home to my own apartment. That's right, bitch. Goodbye. Okay, so he's telling me. So he's telling me that he doesn't want to do repair work. So if he doesn't want to do repair work, he doesn't have to do repair work tonight. So we'll say. What will we say? Let's he's getting, say. He's texting him. She's getting texted now. Good night, Prince. Good night, Prince. He does have places to go. Have fun sleeping outside. We'll say good night, Prince. Should we give him one more chance? Drink it. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah, one more chance, huh? Let's give him one more chance. All right, one more chance to do repair work, Prince. Hello? Okay, I know you can't do repair work about what happened, but... Do you need to do repair work about where you're going? Do you need help to talk about where you're going to stay? Why the fuck would you care? It's raining. I'm worried. I'll be fine. Okay, because 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 we're going to hold a care. For Shut up. You're not going to yell and scream. We're going to hold a care for the whole. You're not going to yell and scream. You're not going to tell me I don't care. 
You're not going to, we're going to work together. We're going to have a conscious conversation. We're not going to scream and yell. We're going to figure something out. You're also not going to come in the home and act out and wake up neighbors and yell at me and cuss at me. We're going to try other ways to relate that it's healthy. This other stuff happened in our childhood. We don't got to keep doing it. We could break the chains, right? Break the chains. It's not okay for you to wake me up, cuss me out. It is not okay for you to treat me the way you treated me this morning. It's not okay. Or tonight. Tonight. Well, for me, I just woke up. But the tonight. It is not okay. And unless you acknowledge that, like, you're not coming in this house tonight. We could talk about you coming home, coming home and going to sleep tonight if you're able to calm down and acknowledge your actions and mourn them with me and try to reframe to something better. But I will not be abused. I don't give you my consent to verbally, physically, or psychologically abuse me. And that's so I could treat you better. Because if I'm abused, then I'm going to be more abusive. And the better, the, the better, the better, hey, instead of you statements and why statements, which are really triggering, let's try to use I statements. You told me to leave and you said you call the cops? Yes, because you're violent and because you threw me down in front of the neighbor. What did I do? What did I do? What? Threw her down in front of the neighbor? What? In the middle of the night, which is the morning for Daisy? It doesn't matter because things were, okay, let me explain something to you. When things escalate. When when things escalate and you will not be quiet and I tell you, give me silence and you're cussing at me and I'm like, and I'm in the kitchen trying to get away from you, like, leave me alone, give me silence, please stop. And you're cussing at me. I'm going to get the neighbors. I'm going to get whoever I need to get because at that point I'm scared because now this person who I told them, give me space, stop it. I don't consent. Leave me alone. This person is not stopping. So if that happens, I'm going to ask for help. I'm a woman. That's like, uh, that's probably why she married him. Remember? Like, why would she marry him? Well, for so she could get a place. And now he's homeless and she's has the fucking crack shack. Goddess place that she wants all the goddesses to come who are going to probably just, my uh, bet is on be prostitutes. Prince, I went in the kitchen and you were still cussing at me. And if you cannot acknowledge your actions, you're not ready. You are not ready to do repair work. So I'm going to get off the phone. I called you to find out where you're sleeping because you're, you're not coming here when you're angry. But if we can get you calm enough and build trust, you can come home tonight. But I will not. We've already agreed when we fight like this, we separate. It's not fair. This is the time for me to sleep. This is not the time for me to be awake with you. I have a healthy lifestyle. I wake up and I do yoga. I wake up and I skateboard. All right, cussing at me is not okay. You don't say go fuck yourself. I am not consenting to you speaking to me that way. So you need to you need to acknowledge that you're not going to cuss at me again, or I'm going to get off the phone. That's right. You're going to steal my apartment. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to sit in my car. I can't wait. I'm going to document it. I'm going to take photos. I'm okay. Gonna goodbye. If you come here, I'm calling the police. You do not right. come here. The neighbors know it. All right. So Prince is not ready to do repair work. And we have a volatile relationship. So I'm not able to really even sleep here. I don't even live here. We're she can just keep fucking fighting and going. It's pretty crazy. Husband and wife. And I had to move out of my own home because of the amount of volatility and fighting. So the, the way Prince is feeling right now, these type of fights used to escalate and get really, really, really bad. And thank goodness, these types of fights no longer escalate. And what happens now, because they used to get violent and it's scary as a woman, like if there's, a man who's a lot stronger than you cussing at you and who's really angry and they've gotten violent in the past. So my neighbors know about it and I've never even made a police report. I had, it sounds like it. It sounds like that's what happened. He was swearing. So go sleep outside. Now. A friend, two friends who made a police report because there was violence right in front of my friends. So Prince knows that there's these two police reports. And if he comes home when we're fighting, then I will just call the police and the neighbors will come. And um, I don't believe in enforcers at all. I just believe in neighbors helping. I don't believe in enforcers, just neighbors helping me. No, but um, if he's like unhinged 
and super angry, then there's really no other options. So it's raining a lot. Vince is outside in his car with his dog in the rain. I think he's just going to sleep there. We're supposed to go to yoga in the morning. <laughs> you think you're going to go to yoga in the morning? Did they go to yoga in the morning? Jill, if you're still here, did they go to yoga in the morning after this? Hi, this is Jeffy Kirk. Oh my God, she's calling him again? Of course she's calling him again. All right, we're going to try again. So this is how my house was growing up. So that's why this is... Don't worry, I already booked a hotel room at the Jolly Roger Hotel. I don't want to see you. I'm booking a tunic. Hey. I'm going to get my stuff. I don't want to be around anymore. Goodbye. Have a great life. Great fucking bye. Okay, so he says have a good life and goodbye, and he booked two nights at a hotel. So if he has two nights at a hotel, then he must be doing well, right? <laughs> he must be doing well. Yeah, must be. Must be. So I guess Prince is going to be okay tonight, so we're just fine. All right. Well, at least I know I get to have good sleep, and people are not always ready to do repair. Yeah, that's a good rule of thumb, Shrek. If you ever get to the point where you're having to record somebody, your significant other, it's probably you should probably just leave. That's a sign to leave the relationship. For work, but we can lessen. Like you guys saw what happened. I didn't even do anything. I just woke up, and he's cussing and screaming and yelling at me, and then I went in the other room. And he's still pissed, and I have to call for help. <laughs> and he's pissed at me for calling for help. It's like, what? So there's nothing we can do when someone's just pissed off for no reason. So we just let for no reason them be pissed off and um, give them their space. He does not want to do repair work right now. <sighs> so we're going to let him go. And um, Prince is my teacher. Prince, Prince keeps breaking up with me like he does right now. So Prince and I are in an open, non-attached relationship. So we we are married, but we have so many struggles we're working through right now that we're, we've taken some space. And we are trying to make it work. So we're just hanging out very, very little right now. And... I am staying here just every once in a while, not too much. And as you can see, it's hard to even stay here. So, yeah, this is, this is a lot. This is a lot. That's right. Is that it? Almost. So Yvonne says both of us are being narcissistic. Yeah, that's a, yeah probably. And that neither one of us wants to work control this will <clears throat> i'm dying this was also uh at 1.25 speed there's a long not even 20 cents i mean, was shorter and uh technically yeah she says both are in the wrong it's true well it takes two people to fight yeah he went out to his friend's house and i've got a healthy lifestyle i'm always doing all kinds of healthy stuff Prince has got an unhealthy lifestyle doing unhealthy stuff. So, you know, if he's going to be unhealthy. Uh, I don't know. I am not sure. I guess like uh, it would depend, right? Um, because usually they say like if, if you're on the phone with someone and they're being abusive, you should just hang up on them and block the number, not record them. But, like, if it's in a public place or in the privacy of your own home, then obviously, like, I think you can record. Especially if someone's abusing you or a crime, because that would be that would be a crime, technically, right? It's illegal. You can't abuse people. Um, and it depends, like, I don't know what kind of abuse we're talking about here, right? So, like, I'm, I'm just assuming physical abuse. So, I'm pretty sure then. I think it's just more for, like, private, re private conversations shouldn't be recorded. Um, and you should probably, if someone's being verbally abusive in a private conversation, you should probably just hang up on them, right? Have an unhealthy lifestyle, then he's not going to be as happy. He's going to be angrier. So that's what's up. All right. Good night, everyone. I'm going back to bed. Wow. 
she got up to just do that. All right. So that's where we'll end it tonight. Um, so tomorrow we'll do like whatever she, I don't know what she got up to this week. I haven't kept up with anything. So, uh, what the fuck is that? Hold on. Stop that. Stop that. It's got to make viewers playing tricks. It's doing a trickery on me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have, uh, have had a great Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. If you guys are, are watching, are going to watch Daisy tomorrow. Um, and who the fuck did I marry? They threw out a recording because he didn't know. Guess what state? On the TV show, who the fuck did I marry? There was a TV show? Or like, are you talking about Risa? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, but yes, good night. Good night, everybody. I hope you have a great Wednesday night. Ciao for now. Wait, what was the poll? I always forget to end the polls. Do we have a poll running? We do have a poll running. You guys said Heather? Would be the worst wife slash wise. Probably. Um, yeah, actually, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm not going to give it much thought. I'll agree with you guys. Good night.